FC Barcelona has a new task in hand with a new coach leading the line in Hansi Flick. The former Bayern and Germany coach is facing possibly the scariest Real Madrid team in years. Mbappe, Vini Jr., Jude Bellingham, Rodrigo, Valverde, Militao, Courtois, just to name a few. They look scary. What does Barcelona do in order to beat this new Galactico side? Well, let me tell you, it's La Masia, the youth academy. And today, I have decided to become the next Thierry Henry, the next Luis Suarez, or even the next Lewandowski for Barca. That's that sounds fun. Lewandowski, for now, you might be the main man for Barcelona, but I am coming for your spot. We have a five-star scout named Andres Insua, who will be scouting in Spain for a striker for three months. Ideally, even within the first month, we'll be getting scout report back, and whoever is the highest rated in that scout report for the striking position, that's who I want to become. The scout report is here, and let me quickly tell you that the reason why I want to pick up the the highest rated one instead of the lowest rated one is because I want to go ahead and follow an actual career of a top club talent. Normally, the way I've done it so far, like I was a talent at Arsenal, but started my career in India. That makes no sense. So that's why we have kind of turned it around to the highest rated one so we can spend more time at the actual top clubs in world football. And right now, all I'm seeing is terrible stuff, except hold on a second. We signed someone right there who we could actually become, I believe. Rating of 60, Lucas Garcia. We're going to have to work on that haircut, buddy. A five star, five star. <laughs> what a start. Garcia is 60 rated, five star, five star, 72 pace, 77 dribbling, chip shot, incisive pass, bruiser, flare, and first touch. Bro, what? He probably is much better in a different... Oh, a plus nine at right wing. <laughs> this is insane. A plus six in the center midfield position. How about Cam? How about Cam? Let me see. Oh, a plus 10. There is a... 70 rated center attacking midfielder hidden in Lucas Garcia. But sorry, pal. We're going to have to work you up in that striking position. And we're going to do it in a first game to prove to the scouts watching us that we can be the next big thing. Garcia with the run. Come on, big man. Come on, big boy. First game. First shot on target. It's not accurate, but... He is six foot three, and that is something that we like. Strength is there. Five star, five star. I genuinely can't wait to see how good he will be. Garcia onto his right. Cuts over. Keeps going. Gets fouled. Penalty given. <laughs> this could be his chance. Your moment, big boy. 49 penalties. Scouts are watching. Which team are you going to go to? It's going to be one that wants success. Garcia scores on his debut for Barcelona. And with that, we will definitely get some good offers. And this is why I've chosen the highest rated player instead of the lowest rated. I wanted a more realistic career for a Barcelona talent. So Lucas Garcia is joining Red Bull Salzburg to develop as one of the best upcoming strikers in football. In this team, he's going to be playing up top alongside Konate Garcia again in that camp position plus 11 i get it but lads that's not the position i want to play i want him to be the next big striker so that he can score goals for real madrid to be scared of him to know that there is someone coming for them so lucas garcia they're gonna sadly have to stick around in that position and those play styles and all the stats you have they will come in handy even at striker as an added incentive in every single one of these uh, youth academy player videos we do we will actually play one game per season we choose the toughest opponents if we can and obviously if he does score or get an assist in that game he gets a plus 10 on any stat we choose and on top of it by the end of the season if he manages to score or the amount of goals that we require, then he goes ahead and gets himself a playstyle plus. Now, for this Salzburg team right here, I would say 
it has to be 10. We're not starting off at five, at least 10 goal contributions for him to get that playstyle plus. The first game Garcia steps into is the battle against Sturm Graz, first against second. What I'm mostly excited about for FC25 is the whole revamp of the youth academy. I mean, we will have the ability to go ahead and pick and choose like a player, a young one from the academy, and then grow him not only in rating, but also in size, and he also can grow a beard and everything. So finally, the game is evolving for us career mode players. Terzic. Nice. Lovely. Go on then, Garcia. Go on. 62 rated at this stage. Immediately in the 10th minute, this is all happening on ultimate difficulty. Lucas Garcia shows his worth to the Salzburg fans. The scouts all around the world are definitely watching, I know that. Lucas Garcia, your first touch was class, the turn, the finish, everything just looked perfect. You're only 62 rated, but now I get to give you a plus 10 in one of the ratings. Oh, we got destroyed at the near post. There he goes, Garcia doing some defensive work as well. I'm thinking already, like, maybe we should get him the power header plus playstyle because if he does get that and he's six foot three, he's going to be unreal and nearly unstoppable. And I need him to be that right now, but he won't be. Nice. Konate. Konate. Garcia! I couldn't let Stuttgart pick off points off of us. He scores two. But I can't give him another plus 10. But at least he makes sure we win this game. I think it is pretty clear what I need to improve there. He has 55 finishing. So I will give him the plus 10. Which now takes him from a 63 to a 64 rating. But at least he does have 65 finishing now. Which is important. I was thinking stamina. But I feel like every development plan works on that anyways. The first season is over with Salzburg. 41 points. Just a two point gap. So that win against Graz was essential and Lucas Garcia did step up and now his rating went up 67 rated at this stage with still a lot of work to do in terms of shooting but man this guy might be one of the best youth academy players I have used in these videos so I am madly excited and now show me over 10 goal contributions come on buddy only nine. Nine goal contributions. Three goals and six assists. He just cannot hide the attacking midfielder in himself. Lucas Garcia has now officially joined Galatasaray. Yes, we are going to Turkey from Austria. We wanted to take that next step up in terms of, you know, money. <laughs> because over here you get tons of it. And also in terms of the heat in the stadium. And I want Garcia to be able to handle that. We are replacing Icardi here. Coming in hot with a 69 rating at this point. And supported by a bunch of very talented players. So here we go. Can we win the Turkish title and get ourselves a massive derby match against Fener? The game begins. Garcia now 75 rated. And he needs to get to the 10 goal contributions because he failed doing that in the last season. It will only go up. The requirements will go up once he surpasses the 10. But man, this game is important. Fener has already won the league at this stage. And this win for Gala would be like half a title. So it's really important for me to win it. <laughs> okay. I cannot lose this game because if I do, there will be riots in Istanbul. So Gala boys, step up your game. Wait for it. Lovely passing play. Garcia. Oh, he loves to set up his teammates, but they don't love to score apparently. Yilmaz, solid run. Keep going, Yilmaz. Yilmaz finds Garcia. Garcia. Yes. Plus 10 secured and the honor of the club nearly reinstated. You might have the title, but I'm taking your honor. Zaha, come on Zaha, now subbed onto the game. Zaha with Garcia making that run. It's not the best of runs, I must admit. But he has a great pass in him. And Demirbay, no way. No 
Oh my, we could have just lost it there. But at the end of the day, it is us picking up a draw at home. And it's all thanks to Garcia. And he even tried to make us win. But the lads don't have the accuracy in front of goal. So here is the actual league table at the end of the season. Fened with 96 points. The Mourinho effect. But we got completely ruined. Like we joined this team and they failed miserably, which is not a good sign. Now for Garcia though, let me tell you one thing. He was 75 rated. He didn't have a playstyle plus, but right now I have taken his attack positioning from 68 to 78 and I have given him the power header plus. Yes, you might ask, how come? Did he surpass the 10 goal contributions? Yes, yes, he did. He absolutely smashed it. 16 and 5. That is what Lucas Garcia has gotten. And every time I say his name, I want to say Luis Garcia. But anyways, 16 and 5, that's over 20. And that is the amount he will have to get next season as well. Raul, at one point of his career, played for Schalke. So now I want another Spanish striker to take over. Not for Schalke, but for Stuttgart. Yes, one of the most successful teams in the last season. And I want Garcia to tear it up for them. The team that he's going into will have him at striker alongside Demirovic. No Denis Undav, sadly, seems to be gone. Milo on the right attacking midfield position with Jung Vo Young on the left attacking midfield spot. Luckily, Stila and Karazor are still here. Yet at the back, we have Ito and Shabo. Ito, he should be at Bayern. Mittelstedt at left back and then at the right back position. I guess no one for now, but Nübel in goal, which, you know, this makes for a good team. If I can qualify for Champions League football with the Stuttgart team, I'll be very happy. Bayern Munich bus arrives with some of the best players in the world. Can we cope with them as Stuttgart is only sat in sixth? And this is towards the end of the season. In real life, obviously it made sense that Stuttgart was doing so well, but in the game itself, the ratings are too low. Now at this stage, Garcia is 81 rated. It was the perfect time to switch over to the Bundesliga. So let's show him what we can do, Garcia. Barcelona, watch me. Dude, Sané is just running away at this point. Oh, that's too easy. Bayern Munich take the lead 1-0. And lads, let me tell you something. This season, we have to get to 25 goal contributions. I upped it a little bit because I feel like 80 plus rated at this stage. That's what we should be doing. Mio. Oh, there's a run. Go on. It doesn't have to be Garcia. Demirovic scores. 1-1. Back into it. Get in there, Stuttgart. Oh, big steal. Garcia with the assist. No. Mate. Cross whipped in. Zagadu. <laughs> what a rocket. Garcia again not taking part in this. But Stuttgart is beating Bayern Munich. And yes, it was enough. We have beaten Bayern. They're on the floor. He might not have done it by himself, but this team has beaten Bayern Munich, which is huge. And now they are in the German Cup final against Hertha BST. This should technically be such an easy match for us. And Garcia possibly could score. Karazor. Stiller and Young. Okay, I'll take it. It's a team game. It's not all about Garcia, but it kind of is. Let's take a look at his stats. 25 goal contributions I want this season because the guy has gone up in rating quite a bit. 81 rated at this stage with 85 pace, 81 shooting, 85 dribbling. Mate, when he gets to that 90 and he's like unstoppable, it's going to be ridiculously fun to use him in these games. But here we go. 25 and 5. 19 and 8. Let's go. Lucas Garcia has done it. 19 and 8. That means I get to give him that playstyle plus because, you know, I kind of failed to get that plus 10. His shot power is already at 82, but I have now given him the power shot plus. So whenever I get the opportunity, I just want to smash it. Now, we have done quite well at Stuttgart right here, though. The season is over, and the question is, where did we end up? Now, we did win the German Cup, which is a massive achievement. But sadly, in the league, we only came into that eighth position, which kind of sucks. But after the Bundesliga, I feel like the logical step before going to Barcelona would be Premier League football. I want that physicality to work out for Garcia. I felt like there is one team in world football that doesn't make enough signings. Lads, Garcia is joining Chelsea. And as I'm recording this, literally this minute, 
Apparently, Chelsea is also signing Joao Felix. <laughs> what are we doing, man? I mean, I love Joao Felix, but bro, relax with the money. Anyways, he comes into this team at striker. And the, the thing is, they do have a bunch of great players already. Shock, surprise. Uh, but in terms of FIFA, I got to say... Chelsea might become one of the most overpowered teams in the game because you will never need to make any transfers. Every single year, you can open up the Chelsea career mode and you will have a bunch of young players with potential that Chelsea invested into to create a football team. The owner kind of forgot that this is not an American football team where they have like 50 plus players. So that's the whole mix up. But anyways... This is the team. Garcia is going to be up top. He's going to be supplied by Nkunku, Barcola, Palma, and Zaire Emery. Two PSG lads have joined us here, which is good fun. Chelsea against Arsenal. The battle of London right now because Arsenal is in first place. Oh, they have given Garcia the number 10. I love it. Go on then, lad. This season, he will have to get... Hmm, I think last season it was 25. Let's do 30 this time around. I haven't checked, I swear to God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bukayo. No. Sanchez, get it away. Whew. Nice steal. Into Garcia. The back heel assist, maybe? Ah, Cole. Garcia has the number 10 on his back. They might know of his defensive or... Passing capabilities, I should say. Arsenal coming through with Martinelli. Hits the post. Get it away, please. Thank you. Oh, no. Where the hell am I going? Oh, no. That has to be the worst defending I've done on FC24. Gotta admit. Arcola, please. Thank you. Garcia. The one-twos are on point. Garcia is through. Come on, Garcia. Show him what you got. Oh my god, he still scored. I thought the keeper had that one, but he just about gets it past him. 20 minutes to go. Let's keep this up, lads. We need to beat Arsenal. I think there's a chance that we could catch up. I'm not actu actually not too sure. Nice steal, Madueke. Subbed on. Come on, Madueke. Run. 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 Keep running. Keep running. You can do this, Madueke to win it yes <laughs> dude you can't throw your entire team into the attack like that arsenal might be beaten by chelsea right here and madueke keeps going where are you going where's he going <laughs> i said oh what a pass garcia oh no ah, come on the referee actually blows the whistle chelsea beat Arsenal. We did our absolute best, but Chelsea in the end is three points behind Arsenal. And that's just the harsh truth. But at least we got Chelsea into second, ahead of Manchester United, ahead of City and Liverpool. I would say they would be happy if they get that this season, right? And honestly, Garcia must have done well. Again, he needs over 30 goal contributions. He's up to an 85 rating at this stage, which is perfect. He's ready for Barcelona. He's ready to go in there and play with all these players. And I still hate the fact that Yamal isn't in the game. Anyways, can't wait to use him in FC 25. But here we go. Let's take a look at it. He comes in with 27 and 2. Buddy, just one more goal contribution, you know? That would have been all I wanted. But... The good thing is I get to give him a plus 10 because we did score or at least get a goal contribution in that game. So I'm thinking, what am I going for? Attack positioning, 96. Acceleration, 91. Balance, 80. You know what? I think I'm going to go balance. His finishing is good, but balance up that to 90. He will be great on the ball. The boy returns as a man. Now, Lucas Garcia comes back to FC Barcelona. All those years that we have spent away from the club only for this moment. Now the time has come to see if we can help Barcelona to compete with the likes of Vini, Jude, and Mbappe. And let's not forget all the other incredible players in that Real Madrid team. Actually, just let me know what you think about the Real Madrid squad. 
we have got the number nine, which is a massive number at this point. Lewandowski has retired, funnily enough. His regen is in this team. So Garcia comes in up top, supported by Ferran Torres and Rafinha. But they also have Chiesa and Fatavu for the wings. And if I turn Chiesa into a right wing, he will be higher rated than Rafinha. So let's keep that in mind. In midfield, Kevin De Bruyne. Yes, that man is part of this squad at the age of 36. The young Pedri. This guy from, I believe, from Copenhagen back in the day. He might have moved to Gala. I'm not too sure. There were rumors. Araujo and then Kim Min Jae and Balde at left back and Testigan in goal with Konate, our old teammate from the Salzburg Times, also as part of this club, which is really fun to see. Gundogan down here who has apparently kind of like lost his ties with Barcelona. They are trying to let him go on a free to save his salary, to register Olmo. It's a mad one. They couldn't handle the competitiveness of that man. He repeatedly said that he's unhappy with the mentality at the club, which he deems a loser mentality. But here we go. Pavlovsky. Polish striker, 18 years old, the regen of uh, the likes of Lewandowski. And then this guy, by the way, Washington at a 79 rating, 89 pace, 81 shooting, 82 dribbling. This guy looks class. The biggest game of them all, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. And we will jump straight into it. Garcia against Mbappe. The battle begins now. Now, ultimately, I want to get to a Champions League final with Garcia and Barcelona to really, truly turn him into a legend. But an easy way, the first step of becoming a Barcelona beast is beating this Real Madrid team with his abilities. Here we go. Straight away. We're getting a bunch of nice movements in. Ferran Torres inside. Garcia! Oh, no. Oh, no. They are quick, bro. They are very quick. Araujo. Red. Oh, no. Huh? What is happening with them two? <laughs> okay. The referee is getting surrounded. People are mad. KDB is mad. Araujo has taken out Vinny Jr. and Mbappe at the same time. De Bruyne, I'm sorry, but Longley needs to come in as a center back now. De Bruyne is out. Mbappe on the free kick. He's not that good at free kicks. Oh my god, what just happened? Danish right back sprinting forward. There's Pedri looking for Garcia. Down to 10 men. They're chasing him. They won't take the red card. They should have. You're already up one man. You could have taken it down to 10 with a tactical foul, but you didn't. Garcia, Lucas Garcia. Remember the name Real Madrid. He is becoming your nightmare. Long lay into Pedri, Pedri. Tiki Taka capable, but also capable of doing more than that. Garcia. Oh, go on. Go on, lad. Make it two. Make it two. Down to 10 men. Ultimate difficulty. Real Madrid have Mbappe and Trent Alexander Arnold as well. And they still can't beat 10 men Barcelona. And Alfonso Davies. Are you kidding me? This team is ridiculous. They got everyone. Ferran Torres again. Oh my god, Garcia. Chip shot as well. Are you kidding? It's done. This game is finished. It is finished, lads. We can move on. The chapter of Real Madrid has now been closed. This is Lucas Garcia, who I, for whatever reason, want to call all different names before the Garcia. I don't know. My brain is working differently today, but... There we go. The chip shot trait, the play style came in clutch. So the game ends 4-1 in the end with even Gundogan scoring. Garcia currently has 87 shot power. So after that game that we just played, I decided to upgrade that and make him unstoppable. 97 shot power on our boy, which means goalkeepers, be careful. He could take you into the net with the ball. I didn't think it would happen in the first season, but lads, we are in the Champions League semi-final against Dortmund. 2-1 victory, 5-2 on aggregate, and we are doing exceptionally well in the league, except losing against Real Betis right there. We're up against Manchester City in the final. Pep Guardiola is going to be facing Barcelona, but let me show you something. Now, La Liga. 
us alone at the top with only one point of a gap to Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid, after a loss against us, just down there in fourth. What happened? I don't know. Supercopa. We win it. Barcelona against Real Madrid. Copa de España. Barcelona wins again. 4-2 against Atleti. And before that, 4-1 against Real Madrid. Basically, Barcelona is dominating the city of Madrid as we speak. Super Cup, the European one. Congratulations, Real Madrid got that one. But in the Champions League, you can see right here that we got past the likes of Bayern Munich. We got past the likes of Manchester United. Then it is Borussia Dortmund to now face Manchester City. So let's prepare yourselves for some madness. I didn't think it would only take one season for us at, uh, at uh, Barcelona. I was thinking we were going to play a bunch more, but I guess not. Now, what at midfield? De Bruyne is down to an 81. I need Fermin Lopez to step in. So he's going to come in. Garcia on a 91. 93 pace, 90 shooting, 91 dribbling, 5 star, 5 star, 97 sharp power still. I cannot wait to see what he does. I, I am so excited. And actually, before we go into this game, I, th I think we said we won 30 goal contributions, right? He has 37, which means I get to go ahead and give him another playstyle plus before we take on Real Madrid. I'm thinking, uh, let me just show you. I have decided to go with quick step plus because the acceleration for this guy is now going to be insane he already has 91 acceleration and also 95 sprint speed but that quick step plus the first moment where you press that sprint button people can't keep up with it so if you have a six foot three player with that much pace and that first moment of accelerating is insane it should be ridiculous now this time Araujo if you don't mind I'm just asking could you not get a red card That'd be really nice. Now, let me see that Manchester City squad we're going to be facing, though. Man City is coming in with Haaland, Doku, Foden, Madison, Depaul, Rodrigo, Guardiol, Jonathan Ta, Saliba switch sides, Cabore and Ederson. Okay, then. Funny that Manchester City have picked up James Madison. I'm literally watching the game of Spurs versus Leicester in the uh, Premier League. And Spurs already missed a massive chance with Dominic Solanke, who gets his first appearance for them. Should be a fun one. Seeing Solanke. How many goals do you think he scores this season? I actually think he might get like 18. Pedri, big one. Here goes Rafinha. Guardiol chasing Pedri inside. Garcia, Ferran Torres. Garcia gets an assist in the Champions League final. Barcelona 1-0 up against Man City. All the trophies in the world are on the line and Barcelona picks them all up right now. But this game is not over yet. Ferran Torres, can you return the favor? Yes, you can. Quick step plus. Let's go. Hey, he's pulling my shirt, ref, bro. Fermin. Oh, yes. Garcia with the roulette. They're pulling his shirt. And they once again succeed in making him miss. Why is Ferran Torres the one? This is why. <laughs> I was legit about to say, why is Ferran Torres the one at the near post? But I guess it doesn't matter. 2-0 up. Araujo. Oh, Salah. No, please. No, not again. Okay, thank you. I can't stop this guy. <gasps> no, what am I doing, bro? I'm brain dead. Like, legit. That, Johnny, what are you doing? Honestly, you see he has a yellow card. Like, it's like you have five IQ. I need that FC IQ. And there we go. Straight away from the free kick. This is what you get for being absolutely stupid, mate. Oh, God. The last time when we lost that Aljo, we survived. Let's see if we can do that again. I'm just going to put Fermin. I'm sorry, bro. You're the one that has to suffer under this. Yes. Big steal. Garcia, please save me. I need another goal. And there goes the quick step. Jonathan Tarr left in the dust. Here goes Garcia. Smack it. Ha! <laughs> Yes! All the play styles coming into this moment. Years of building up this man's career. The quick step, the power shot plus, all of it. And no chance left for the keeper. The 97 shot power combi combined with this.
<laughs> it's unstoppable. And there he is, stepping forward. Garcia, your career started at this club. A bunch of loan deals. And now you get to lift the Champions League trophy on top of La Liga, on top of the cup, on top of anything, basically. And now you have already become a legend for this team. And that is exactly the career that I wanted to, to, to achieve with this team. Can't speak English. Yes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Let me know which team I should be uh, jumping into in order to become the Air Academy player next. This is such a fun concept. I personally enjoy myself a ton doing this. So go ahead and let me know. Take care and peace.